Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, I want to make a second handle for this to see which one I like better. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. This handle, I just, there's something I just don't like about it or something that looks off about it to me. So I figure if I make a second handle, I can kind of compare and contrast and see which one I like best and see which one works out best. Let's just get to it. All right, to the bench. Got our pieces here. What I'm gonna do is, uh, we know this is basically the size we need. What I'm thinking is, we put this on, and then here's for the one handle, but I'm gonna put it on upside down because this piece right here fits that piece perfect. So we know it needs to at least be that big. They just have to be tight. They don't have to be, they don't have to be exact. Okay, so that's where we want it. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it a little bit big. I'll be back, let me cut this on the bandsaw. Yeah, that gives us about an eighth inch. Eight inch to mess with, but here's what I want to do too. I'm going to use that same, I'll put the link to the video where I showed milling out my blocks. This is going to be straighter though, so I'm not worried about it as much with this. But I'll link to that, but I'll show you, I'm going to mill out some new pieces. And then I'll, we'll figure it out from there. So what I did, I put a little arrow here. I put them here, that's what these inside lines are. And then like I took this in my caliper and measured, so we needed to be at least that big. That's what these lines are. One, two, three. Oh, I need to put a little arrow here. So that way we know, we kind of measured off that. It's not an exact science, because I made them all a lot bigger. But at least this way we'll have a little bit of uh, give and take. Might as well fake it, right? All right, I'm going to go to the mill. I'm going to go set everything up in the mill and I'll show cutting these out. And maybe this. We'll see how much time's in there. Let's square this up. See, last time that piece of wood wasn't that square, so I couldn't really do this. Double check, I got the right bit. Yeah, that's it, okay. Here we go. Oh, I, I guess I shouldn't have squared that, huh? I just realized that, we'll see how bad we are. Uh, not too much, good, good. <laughs> Voila! Boom! Damn, it's on there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Look at that, it ain't moving. Well, a little bit back here. But this has to come down some anyway. Second time always works out better, huh? Ha 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 ha! All right, we're just going to center this up. You know, I made them bigger than the blocks. Damn, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. Whew. 
soon everything just falls apart. <laughs> Hey, look at that! <laughs> Alright, back to the bench. I put it on with the guard, and then about three hours later I came down, and took it off and put the clamps here and here and slid it back on so it stayed straight. When I first took it off, the blocks moved a little bit, so I wanted to put it down here. Hopefully this will work out. I haven't taken it off. I'm not cheating. We'll see. It might be a pain. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to knock it off. <laughs> Ah, let me go knock this off and then uh, we'll be back. Well, just took a little convincing to get it off and to get it back on. Look how tight that is. I don't, ah, yeah, nice and tight. <laughs> Let's just draw this out. I'm not going to bring it in, way in. You can see here's my, basically the inside is where my tang is. You know, my friend's like, why did you use the spacers when you got a big piece of wood? He understood why I did it on the last one. But just because at the thinnest part, I want this to be plastic. And, you know, that wood isn't as reliable as we learned from the last. <laughs> one thing I did, I found this with a hole in it. And I put it over there. And that's how I tighten this down. You know, with the cap I made before. It's like, oh, I could take a whole new piece of metal. And I was like, wait, this has a hole in it. And that's how I got it tight and let it set for three hours. I'm going to cut this on the bandsaw. Let's not make the mis same mistake and go real thin. That leaves a little bit. I'll probably just leave it the straight handle this time. We'll see. I cut it on the bandsaw. I'm going to shape it. If we have to take a little bit off to put an end cap, but we'll see. It looks actually about the same. I can't believe how tight that fits. <laughs> I guess you get it right the second time. <laughs> I might try to flare this out a little bit. We'll see. I went and cut that little piece. I think I used that as a, uh, a practice knife in my jig when I did that jig build. I put the link up here. That's why I wasn't finished though. So. But yeah, cut this little piece out. That way I need to stay away from this because the hole is right here. So I want a little bit more area here, but we'll see. I put a line in the middle because I'm going to kind of curve this in, but I don't want to bust over that. I just turned around and that family saw this right in my face. I put a little bit of oil on it to see how it'll finish up. I definitely like that better, but you know, I got a lot of things to smooth out. That's the rough shape for sure. And it's uneven here and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna let this place air out. It definitely feels a lot better in my hand. Yeah, I got stuff down here to bring down and we'll see, I'll be back. I think I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because even in my hand, it feels a little bit big. But I marked off, like here, needs to come around, here needs to come around. 
just little spots that are big need to be taken off and stuff like that so uh, let's get to it Alright, I think the rest is hand sanding. I might have to just do a time lapse. <laughs> That's about it. I went ahead off camera and finished up all the end cap work and stuff like that. It's funny though, I messed up. I actually uh, epoxied this one on here without the pins in it. If you go watch that last video, I put pins in it and I came down after like 15, 16 hours and pushed on it and just popped right off. So. I decided to make another one and get it all worked out. But it's good to know, if you just epoxy it on, it's not going to stay good when you're shaping and all that. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. My website's the first one in the description and up in the cards. I got shirts on there. I got a few knives on there for sale, Amazon links, all that good stuff. That's about it. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, take it easy.